you know, sometimes I just get onto my computer and sometimes the stories just pop up, pop out at me and I just say, should I talk about this or should I not? This one, I could not let slide. Now, if Menace to Society had a person that could actually be its mascot, it would be this person right here whose name is Jimmy Spite Jr. Because when I just read the title alone from this, I'm, I was said to myself, I'm almost scared to see what the details of the story are going to be. So let me read to you the title. Weeks after kidnapping and raping someone, registered sex offender murdered a man who was ejected from a vehicle in a car crash. Like, listen to that title alone. And by the way, this guy is only 27 years old. He's not even 30. And already his life is done. But my thing is, how in the world did he, was he even locked up before for the previous thing? Or they are just now getting him on everything, thanks to this new uh, thing, that, this new revelation. You know what? I'm not even going to ask any more questions. I'm just going to get into the article. A registered sex offender, which means he had to have been caught before, was charged with murder after he allegedly shot and killed a man who was thrown from a vehicle in a crash on Thursday. Farmville, North Carolina man Jimmy Spike Jr., age 27, committed the murder weeks after he kidnapped and raped someone. Listen to that, weeks after. So this guy just recently committed these heinous crimes before creating, I'm creating, before committing one of the more bigger crimes. Like his crimes just escalated. They didn't de-escalate. They escalated over time and continue to do so. The Pitt County Sheriff's Office said that deputies responded after 1 p.m. on Thursday to the scene of a car crash of a crash where 36 year old Edmund J. Moore Jr. was ejected from the vehicle. The circumstances of, of the crash are unclear. EMS was observed attempting to perform CPR on Moore, but Moore was pronounced dead at the scene. Deputies noted that Moore had apparent gunshot wounds, although the timeline wasn't specified. Authorities said that shortly after they arrived on scene, a suspicious person was reported walking door to door near King Farm Road in Fountain, North Carolina. Fountain, North Carolina, where the crash occurred. A man identified as Spite was looking to get a ride to Greenville. Deputies claimed to find a handgun and drugs near where Spite was taken into custody. They said Spite was detained after further investigation and interviews. The Pitt County Sheriff's Office said that its major crimes unit had also been investigating a rape and kidnapping that occurred on March 4th. So this was a little over a month ago. Spite has also been charged in that case. Law and crime has reached out for more information. Public records show that Spite was convicted for taking indecent liberties with a 14-year-old in 2016 and was released on 30 months probation with a requirement to register as a sex offender for at least 10 years. Spite was 21 at the time. The address listed on the North Carolina Sex Offender Registry is the same one listed in Pitt County Detention Center. Records that say Spite currently faces several felony and misdemeanor charges. Records show that Spite was booked Thursday for first-degree forcible rape, first-degree kidnapping, discharging a weapon into an occupied dwelling or moving vehicle, and murder. Those are the felony charges. Spite also faces misdemeanor counts for first-degree trespass and injury to real property. Spite is being held on more than $3 million bond. It's unclear if he has an attorney in the matter. In my opinion, $3 million ain't enough. He shouldn't have a bond. Did you hear all of that I read? This guy's criminal criminality goes all the way back to when he was 21, when he forcibly raped a 14-year-old. And then he just recently kidnapped someone and did the same thing to them about um, over a month ago and now has murdered someone or caused the murder of someone this is why i say he is definitely the mascot of minister society sure there are plenty others out there but god damn this guy right here he his was just a revolving door he just didn't know when to stop but i also blame the so-called justice system because they literally gave him a slap on the wrist back when he was 21 and they said that he was on the, the sex offenders register registry for 10 years, which means he would have been off of it in, when he turned 31. So he only had, what, uh, four more years to go. And he couldn't even do that. He couldn't, he couldn't withhold his urges. And now someone is dead 
outside of the crime he committed back in March. Well, his life is completely done. And you would have thought that, you know, he would have had a second chance to redeem himself, but he couldn't even do that. That's why a lot of people don't believe in second chances, because as you can see, people like him will squander it. You can just look at his mugshot. And he don't look like he don't he knows what, what which way is up. But that's that's crazy. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. If you have not done so already, make sure that you text the number that is pinned down in the comments below so you can receive notifications every time I upload a new video or go live.